Wakenya bado wanamshtuko kufuatilia mauaji ya kikatili ya dadake mdogo wa mchungaji Victor Kanyari. Starlet wa huu anadaiwa kuwawa na mtu aliyejulikana kwa jina la John Matara. Mwili wake uligunduliwa Alhamisi Januari 4 asubuhi kwenye gorofa ya aina ya Airbnb eneo la Kusini jijini Nairobi. Baada ya mlinzi huyo kuripoti kwa namshukiwa huyo wa kiume akikimbia na nguo zilizotapaka damu. Wakenya wajiuliza, "Je, kijana huyu haswa ni nani?" Langu jina ni Jitabi Suleman karibu ndani ya Jalango TV station nambari moja. Jina halisi ni John Ogoa Matara. Alisoma katika shule ya upili ya wavulana ya Butere katika kaunti ya Kakamega. Anatoka kaunti ya Kisi. Aliwahi kuwa msanii wa rege kwa jina la Rebulius Monk. Na basi alitoa ngoma ine. Miaka mitano iliyopita kijana huyu alitoa ngoma moja. Ambayo watu wengi wanajiuliza maswali kwa ile message ambayo ngoma hiyo iko nayo. Basi inajulikana kama time has proven. Ingine akatoa inayojulikana kama tribulation. Ingine yajulikana kama look and you. Na basi mwaka mmoja uliopita alitoa ngoma inayojulikana kama dropout. Na basi pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii watu wengi wanazidi kujiuliza maswali isifika. Kwani kijana huyu basi alidaiwa kuwa mtumiaji wa kawaida wa bangi? Kuna wale watu wa Kenya wengi ambao wanamjua kijana huyu. Na basi kuna wale ambaye alisema kwamba nilisoma na huyu jamaa na tulikuwa same dormitory. This guy alikuwa addict wa bangi na aliwahi tiwa hata karao high school. A principal cast him I ain't surprised he ended up with such lifestyle too bad for that girl Alikuwa shule ya Butera Boys High School Alimaliza but alifanya exam akiwa na police case So he could come morning Johnny anatoka Mana he was not allowed to mix with other students Basi taarifa hii inatuambia ya kwamba jinsi ambavyo John Matara alikuwa mhalifu kutoka kitambo tena sana. Na basi Matara alikamatwa katika hospitali ya Mbagadhi pamoja na rafiki yake Anthony Nyongesa. Na sasa hivi anazuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi cha eneo la viwanda. Yeye ndiye mshukiwa mkuu wa mauaji ya Starlet wa huu. Na basi wa Kenya wengi wamejitokeza wale ambao wamepitia hafla hii yote. Na basi kuna yule binti ambaye alitoa anitasema vipi alitoa message ambayo kijana huyu alikuwa amemtumia Ilikuwa Disemba saba. Ikisema kwamba Hey pretty I really do love your beautiful Emma acha nirudi alisema Hey pretty I really do love your beautiful and sexy self What are you up to tomorrow I just landed in Nairobi for the holiday season and I was wondering if you and I could spend some time together before I leave for Mombasa soon. I am offering 10k as a token for my appreciation for a hook up with you tomorrow in the course of this week. If interested, please send me your WhatsApp number and location. Thanks. And if you have time we could leave for Mombasa together. Diani Pasei. Christmas is here baby. Na basi ukuyo alimwambia you had sent me another message previously right? Akamjibu akamwambia I think so baby. Na basi kuna yule mwingine pia anajulikana kama Warasta Manenos. Alisema yes. That's the man trending. Sisi tulimjua kama Rebellious Monk. Nyinyi mnamjua kama Matara. Jamaa alikuwa radikan sana. Kuna WhatsApp group he created for all Kenya rasters. After 30 minutes, no one was allowed to say anything that group. Only admins were allowed to talk. Na basi taarifa hii yote inatuelezea jinsi ambavyo kijana huyu amekuwa mhalifu kutoka zamani. 
lakini wanasema kwamba siku za mwizi basi ni arubaini. Alifikishwa mahakamani Januari tano na polisi waliruhusiwa kumshikilia kwa siku moja kusubiri uchunguzi zaidi. Kufika sasa wadhiriwa watatu wamerekodi taarifa na polisi na basi jambo ambalo wamjui ni kwamba kijana huyu ana umri wa miaka 30. Acha basi tuone jinsi ambavyo kutaenda jamani maana dada wengi wamezidi kuteseka. Dada wengi wamepitia kwenye mikono ya mhalifu huyu. Je, kwa yule ambao unanisikiza na kunitazama Emu niambie maoni yako kuhusiana jamani na mhalifu huyu. Ni hayo tu ambayo nimekuendelea kwa sasa langu jina ni Jitabi Suleiman ndani ya Jalango TV station nambari moja. Hadi wakati mwingine kwa herini.